Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In previous video, we have discussed OpenSSL BIO EVP interface, encryption, decryption, and the EVP message digest. In this short video, it will discuss OpenSSL EVP PK. OpenSSL EVP PK is a generic structure to hold diverse types of asymmetrical keys, also known as key pairs. The asymmetrical keys themselves are often referred as an internal key and are handled by backend. The key pair also referred as a private key and a public keys. The command and the classical usage of this asymmetrical key is sign and verify signatures. For example, sign normally requires the presence of a private key and the verify normally requires presence of a public key. Here on the Linux, first we build our class evp underscore class dot h and the evp underscore class dot cpp. In previous video and our live open SSL namespace, we built a class called AES underscore CBC underscore 256 for demonstrate how to encrypt and decrypt message or files. In this short video, we add a new class called my EVP underscore key. This class has only one private member, which is a pointer of EVP PK type and we have a default constructor and a default destructors. And this class, we build the first generator an RSA key. For the EVP PK, it has many types. Most common use is RSA key, DSA key, EC key, HMAC keys. In this short video, we only use RSA key as example key types. So we only generate RSA key. And the second method, we are going to load key, which is open and read a key file and load into our PK. Key file has two file types called the public key and the private keys. And then we have method get PK return the PK we generated. And we can get the PK size, which returns the size of PK. And we have get PK bits, return the bits of this PK. We also have a get PK type, which returns the type of this PK, RSA key or DSA key. And the next method we are going to build is a display key, will be decoding and the display PK. Other method called the writer key, which is writing PK into the key files. In this method, requires another parameter, which is private or public. If private, will be write into private key file. If public, will be extract to the public key files. Here is our implementation. First, default constructor, we set our PK as non-pointer. Next method, which we call the generate RSA key. We are going to pass a parameter called the key bits. And to generate this RSA key, we need five steps. First step is to generate evppkctx function called evppkctx new underscore id. The id is evp underscore pkrsa, which is defined in the header file called evp.h. Second step, we will initialize contact object called evppkkgen underscore init. Parameter will be the ctx. Next step, we are going to set up a RSA parameter. There's a few of parameters we can set, we can get. Number of bits is one of parameters. There will be also other parameters like padding, padding length, sorting length, and other things. In this short video, we are going to set up the bits of RSA parameters. After set up bits, we can use the key gen, generate the key. If we don't set our bits, by default, the RSA key take a 1024. After generate the key, we can return a PK. The last step will be free our context, which free the memory we allocated. Next method, we call the load key, which open and read from key file and load into our PK. The key file has two types, private or public. 
If a private, we load a private key. If a public, we load as a public keys. This function, the first step will be essentialized BIO object. We use the function BIO underscore new underscore file and the file name from parameter. When we call this method, model of open is the reading. We name it as BIO key. If the type is the public, then we're using a function called PEM underscore read underscore BIO underscore pub keys. Read from BIO, return value is the PK. If private, and then we're using the PEM underscore read BIO private key functions from BIO key to our PKs. After we successfully read from the key files, we free our BIO key, return our PK. Next method will be get key types. From PK, we got the type ID and the switch statement check type ID. If type is EVP underscore PKRSA, we set up string EVP underscore PKRSA. If DSA, we set up string as DSA. If EC, we set up string as EC. If HMAC, we set up HMAC. If no one of this, we set up EVP PK now. Then we can return this key type strings. Next method called display key. Parameter path will be the is private. This method will be decoding and display the content of PK. First, we instantialize the object called the BIO out, will be print to STD out. And if this is a private, we use the function EVP PK print private BIO out PK. If it's a public, so use an EVP PK print a public. Same BIO out and our PK. Print the hash method where get the pointer of the hash value and the length of hash value, which is a print as a HTML format. Next method will be write key. This method will write our PK into a key files. If private, then we write into private key file. If public, we write into public key files. We create a BIO, instantialize the BIO object for the BIO out file name passed by this method parameter and the model will be the writing. If private, then we use a PEM write BIO private key to this BIO out of this PK. And if this is a public, and we use this function, will be pm underscore write bio pub case, bio out and p case. After that, we just free our bio out. The destructor, if pk is not now, it means we have allocated memory for pk. So we have to use the evp pk free, which is free the memory we allocated. After build our class, we can build two applications. First, we call the EVP generate RSA key.cpp, which we can generate RSA key and write into the key file, public key and the private keys. Another program called the EVP read key files. Read the key file we generated, decoding and print content of the keys. This program is a generate RS key program usage. First argument is number of bits. Second argument will be the private key file name. Third argument will be public key file name. First, declare two variable pointer of PK type and the number of bits by key bits, which is assigned integer. After we get from command line, first we convert the bits from command line to my key bits. Key bits we use a typical function a2i from argument 1 and we have to instantialize our key object equal the evp underscore key and we name this key obj after we got a key object my pk equal generate the rsc key parameter will be the key bits get from command line If my PK is now, it means generate RSC key method is not success. So we are going to exit as value and then we print out. After that, it means we successfully generate PK. So we just write two files. Write a key. First one is the argument. 
school is a private key and we can write argument 3 which is a public key finish this program we just uh, save this and then we go to next program read key files the usage first argument will be the public or private which is the key file type and the key file names so in this uh, program first we declare the variable is private is a true and my pk pointer of pk type after we get argument from a common line first we instantialize key object my evp key equal the key object then we call the method return value is my pk equal load key this method first is the key type from the one and the second is the key file If we return the my pk is non ptr, it means the load file failed. So we exit and before exit, if we success load it and if our variable public so is private will be true after we loaded we can decoding and display what we loaded the method is called display key this function take a parameter which is private and we can a separate line then we can print key type argv1 key obj and we can also print the size of our key and the bits the method is called the bits method code after that we finish our program we load the file to the pk then we decoding display now we save our program we compile our program now our program get compiled so this is our binary. First, we generate our key usage will be EVP generate IC key. The bits 2048 by default is 1024. The output file private key we call my RIC private key dot PEM and the public key file name called my RIC public underscore key dot PEM. So we run this file. We can see we generate our private key file and our public key file. Now we try to read our key files. First, we read the public file. The name is my RIC public key dot pm. Now you can see we successfully read our key file. We decoding this is the module key file and our key is the RIC public key. Size is two fifty six two zero forty eight bit. Now we read our private name is my RSA private key dot pm. Private key has more components. I have a module private key two zero forty eight bits private exponent primary one primary two exponent one exponent two. Our key type is EVP PK RSA size is two fifty six two zero forty eight bits. The example programmer we produced also be used by OpenSSL API from command line. For example, if we want to generate a RSA key from a command line, the command will be op OpenSSL generate a RSA manual out API RSA 
private bit two zero forty eight. In this command, we generate our private IC key using Open SS API. From this private key, we can also extract the public key. So the command is IC menu in IC private key PM menu and the output is the public API. You can see this is a private key and the public key using our C program we generated. This is the private and the public key using OpenSSL API generator. We can read private API generate a private key. We can see that private key RSA 256-2048 bits and it's the private RSA keys. If we want to read Use an API generate public key. You can see we can also read RSA public keys. We can also use an open SSL API to read decoding private key and the public key. The command will be you know, text menu in our program generate a private key. Menu no out, which means we just print out on the screen. Oh, sorry, it's wrong. You can see exactly the same as our program does. If we want to read public key, command will be open SSL, RSA, menu, PUB in, it's, it's public in, menu text in, our program generates public key. This is the same as our program, EVP read key files. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video, which it is useful and it's going to be great to have your feedback.